Hello dear customizators, welcome to episode 9. Let's take a quick look what we did so far. Customize. Edo came to help with the benches. We are using wood plank to make them level to each other and marking where they need to be cut. We also labeled every bench stand to know where they go when we will assemble them. After the cutting was done, the time has come to do some grinding.
After filing the wood roughly with angle grinder wood carving disc, I will make another pass with 40 grit sanding disc. Finally, I'm finishing it with the eccentric sander. It is I, making another CAD design. the planks I made the final cut. I also made this tool to help myself sand the planks at exactly 90 degrees to be able to glue them together perfectly. So now you can enjoy this montage of gluing all the planks together. With the benches done, I can begin to work on these decorative wood strips. First I thought they will look like this and I made the cut. But it's not going to be that easy. As you can see, I need to bend this strip downwards to follow the curvature of the boat. And I also need to bend it in this direction. I tried to do this, but very quickly realized that this thick part of the decorative strip could not be bent. In the end, I decided to cut it all the way and insert another plank below it afterwards. But you will see that in the coming episodes. And this is how it looks like for now. And now I just need to finish the strips on the rear part of the boat. And with that out of the way, I can make some strips for the floor. With the help of carton assist design, I am transferring the wood curvature of the floor to the plank. If some of you are wondering why am I cutting the wood upside down like this, it's because that way I get nicer cut, because the saw is chipping the wood edges on the other side. Besides looking nice, the floor strips have the purpose to keep the floor in place. I just need to grind it at an angle and make the final cut. And the rest is just repeating the same process. I also needed to adjust the curvature of the floor a bit.
And these are the floor strips almost done. Although it looks like the straightforward task, it was not easy. The main structure of the boat is old and uneven, so every single strip had to be done individually. It was a lot of cut, grinding, try if it fits and grind again. You can see how every individual strip had to be grinded to fit in nicely. At this phase I mounted all the strips with screws. And this is how they look screwed in place. And if you think we're done, we're not. I made this tool to help me mark the final shape of the strips. And of course I did have to take them off the boat again to grind them in the final shape. I am sorry if this took some time, but I wanted to show how complex some tasks are, because usually everything looks so simple on the video. After grinding all the strips with angle grinder, of course I am finishing them with the eccentric grinder. And before putting it back on the boat, I had to protect them with D1 oil. In this phase I could finish up the floorboard painting and protection. And of course before mounting all the freshly painted parts back, I had to clean all of this wood chip mess. using my Care Hair pressure washer and Care Hair vacuum cleaner to suck up all the water and dirt. And now I can finally make the final assembly of the floor strips. And this is the central carrier for the floorboards. Almost done here, so don't run away. Maybe at this time you could consider subscribing or liking this video. So this is the time. Do it now, or this video will not continue. Seriously, I'm not joking here. Well done, I can see some likes on the video. So we can continue. I'm covering the screw with wood putty. Ivona is helping also. After grinding the putty down, it was time for some painting. Enjoy! And after a job well done, it was time for some beer break. But Ivona also wanted some. You can see the look on her face. So she had a sip and look how happy she is now. Always keep your lady happy. And what makes me happy is being able to finally finish this rear bench.
then after the final grinding, we first need to paint the wood parts with D1 oil. We decided that these parts will have a shiny finish. So after painting them with D1 oil, we need to paint them with D2 oil. Painting in D2 marine oil requires 6 coats in 12 hours intervals, so we had to paint it indoors. Luckily, there was a storage space nearby we could use. To make it easier for ourselves, we bought this new brush. The paint job lasted for 3 days. One layer in the morning and one layer in the evening, until all 6 layers were done. This is the D2 marine oil we are using. And now it is time to make the final assembly of the benches. The only thing left to do now is to seal everything with Seacock. 